let's go down and solve this dv2 challenge click on it here is the pdf right click open continue reading first we have to download the jdk so go to this link then we have to choose a version select open jdk 8 so here is open jdk 8 in jvm select hotspot in jvm we have selected hotspot then go to windows and select first checksum so operating system is windows 64 bit and it is the software that we have to download so we have to go to adoptm.net to download this operating system windows architecture is 64 here is the msi click on it and download you can see the download has started then we just have to install it go to the downloads folder here is the msi file double click then just install it then click finish then you have to run this command where java c in the command prompt so let's open command and give where java c so here is java c copy this Control c to copy continue reading then it will take you to this pdf just complete all the steps in this pdf this pdf has 15 steps and it will take around 60 minutes let's go to step one we have to install the dv2 extension go to the extension step and search for ibm dv2 for zos here is extension search here ibm db2 for zos developer and click on install it is now successfully installed then in this step 2 we have to install java we have already done this after installing it is telling us to navigate to vs code settings and search for java in the search bar there should be entry for db2 under extensions that you can click and provide the path for java runtime so let's go to vs code let's go to settings here is settings then here i have to search for java so let's give here java and press enter here i have to give the path for java runtime library here you can see db2 for zos developer extension java home specify the path of the java directory so here i have to give the location of the java that i just installed we have to give the location that we got using where java c command so you have to give this location you do not need to give the full location just give till here before the bin if you give the full location like this then the connection to the db2 will fail so only give till hotspot like this same way in zopen editor also you can give till hotspot that's it after that go to step 3 we have to go to the db2 extension here is the db2 extension click on it here we have to click on the plus sign for db2 for zos connection click on plus the location is dallas c so give here dallas c host name is given here 204.90 115.200 give here host name port number is 5040 give here port number then give here user id and password user id is z15260 then give password then save password click on finish let us now try to connect and you can see successfully connected to the Dallas C. From here we can connect and disconnect. This is connect button, this is disconnect. So you can see now successfully disconnected. To connect, click on here. Connect. So you can see connected. Successfully connected to Dallas C. Then create a new folder on your machine and name it DV2 Challenges. So let's go to our desktop. Let's create a new folder on desktop. New folder. Call it db2 challenges. 
inside it what we have to do is we have to create a new file and call it sample.sql so let's go to vs code and open this folder go to file open folder go to desktop due to challenges select folder and here we can create a new file let's call this file sample.sql so let's call this file sample.sql here we will have to write a sql statement this is the statement copy this paste it here control s to save then select this query and right click run selected sql and this is the output of the query this is employee number first name mid initials last name working department phone number hire date job and education level so this query gave this result status tab is telling us whether it ran successfully or not return code 0 means successful this is the query that we ran and this is the result of the query step 5 is telling the same information so you can read it let's go to step 6 in step 6 it is asking us to see the content of the table ibm user dot department so let's copy this control c control v instead of employee we have to give department control s to save right click run selected sql and here is the result status is 0 return code 0 and here is another table it contains department number department name manager number administration department and location then it is asking us to create a query so that we see this in the output only two columns are displayed department name and department number so instead of select everything we only have to select department name and department number from ibm user dot department control s save and then run it and you can see we have created the table successfully it is exactly the same as shown in the screenshot in step 7 it is asking us to run this query so let's run this query and here is the first name of all the managers in the company these are the seven managers michael sally john irving eva eileen and theodore step 8 is also telling the same thing you can read it let's go to step 9 in step 9 it is asking us to create a query that will count the number of employees that are managers so let's create this query right click run selected sql so it is showing us seven there are seven managers which is correct step 10 is telling us about joins you can read it let's go to step 11 step 11 is also telling us about joins it is telling us how we can join two tables together and this screenshot is an example of the join step 12 is telling us about group by clause which is used to group common values together this is used for aggregate functions such as count, sum, average, maximum and minimum. So you can read about it in the step 12. Step 13 is telling us about maximum and minimum function. You can read it. A screenshot is also given. Then let's go to step 14. The real challenge is given in step 14. We have to query the maximum compensation in each department by department name. We have to display department name and we have to display maximum compensation. So we have to group all the departments together and we have to sum the maximum compensation of each of these tables. So there are two tables. One table is employee, one table is department. So let's see both of these first. So these are the two tables. Let's run these queries. Here is the output of the first query, employee name, first name, this is the department and here is the department name, this is the department number and department name. Department number is given here as well. So both the tables have department number which is common, one is called work department, one is called department number. So we can join using this column. Department name can be taken from here. This is the department name. 
and here is the salary bonus and commission of each person so what we have to do is we have to sum all these three together and we have to check the department number all the employees which belong to a00 will be added together this a00 this is a00 so the salary bonus and commission of this a a00 will be added together so let's do this the query will be very simple it will be select we have to show department name so let's give select department name from the table ibm user dot employee and ibm user dot department where department name is same so where department number is equal to so where department number is equal to work department so work department and we have to group all these by the department name group by department name and also we can give order by department name so department name is complete and also we have to show maximum compensation for that we have to add three columns maximum of salary bonus and commission maximum of salary plus maximum bonus plus maximum of commission as we give a max compensation so select department name maximum of salary plus maximum of bonus plus maximum of commission as maximum compensation from ibm user employee let's give this table name let's give this table name e and let's call this table d so department number is in this table so let's give here d dot department number and this is in e instead of and we have to give comma so this will be our final query let's run this right click and run selected sql here is the maximum compensation for administration system this is information center manufacturing system operations and so on after we get the output download it as dot csv file this is the output click on save and it will be saved on desktop in csv file save it then let's go to output folder here is data set let's go to output here is the output we have to upload this member and rename it to dv2 out so let's upload this so right click and upload member here is the csv file click on it then rename it to dv2 out dv2 out then go to public jcl and check sql and submit the job here is public jcl go here and go to check sql here is check sql right click and submit job job submitted 8421 8421 condition code 0 so the challenge is successfully completed let's go to the website go down challenge complete you have successfully completed the advanced sql challenge that's it let's now close all this if you like my videos then you can support me by buying my mainframe course after buying this course you will get 19 hours of mainframe training this course will teach you cobol jcl vsam tso ispf unix system services and cics you can watch the free preview before buying my course make sure you buy the course using the referral link in the description